Happy April Fool's Day, guys! A perfect time to talk about the dark, sad, and embarrassing times when science itself was epically duped. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here. You're watching D News. In England in 1911, there was a hugely effective hoax involving a school called the Piltdown Man. For a hot minute, or actually 40 years, it was the most famous school in the world because people thought it was the missing fossil link between humans and apes. It wasn't until 1953 that things got real embarrassing for all the scientists involved. A paleontologist thought that the jaw in school seemed a little strange. So he performed a flooring test on the different parts of the fossil and learned that, whoops, that is the jaw of an orangutan, and that is the skull of a human. Turns out the pieces were purposefully put together, presumably by Charles Dawson, the archaeologist who found it. Reputations were tarnished, outraged throughout the land. That sneaky bastard. Fast forward to 2004, where again in England, a man claimed to have found a pickled dragon in his garage. We're talking a teeny tiny fell beast of air straight out of Mordor itself. The owner told the press that he'd found it with papers that claimed it was once offered to the Natural History Museum by German scientists. The story was all over the press, with everyone wondering, wait, dragons are real? What? I want a dragon? The Natural History Museum wanted to take a look, and it was fake. The best part, though, is that the dude straight admitted that the hoax was an elaborate scheme to get people to read his book. And it worked. He earned himself a publishing contract with one of Britain's largest book-selling chains. Note to self, lie about more stuff. The last hoax is one still in circulation. Not exactly science, but definitely related. In 2011, a file from 1950 was placed in a public vault by the FBI. Subject line, flying saucers, information concerning. In the memo, it says, quote, the saucers were described as being circular in shape with raised centers, approximately 50 feet in diameter. Each one was occupied by three bodies of human shape, while only three feet tall, dressed in metallic cloth of a very fine texture, unquote. Could it be proof of alien contact? Not quite. The document is real, but the whole UFO thing has been debunked by the FBI and US Navy optical physicist and UFO investigator Bruce McAbee. The hoax started with Silas Newton, now a well-known con man, attempting to get big oil companies to invest in a secret alien technology he found that could locate underground oil. Laying the groundwork for his tall claims, he said he found flying saucers and aliens in the desert. Sounds legit, right? An investigator from the Air Force overheard the story and thusly filed a memo. So if you get pranked today, don't feel bad. Science has been there too. Thanks for joining me guys. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time here on D News.